Welcome back dear students. In today's video, I am going to discuss the lists and functions, some of the functions which can be used on list. There are a number of built-in functions that can be used on list that allows us to quickly look through a list without writing our own loops. Like one is say for example line function which can be used on list. The line function is going to give the number of elements in the list. We need not to write any function or program for that purpose. Directly we can use a line function to know the number of elements in a list. Here say this particular nums list contains six elements. And there is one more uh, function called a max which is going to return the maximum element in a list. The maximum uh, value in this list is 74. If I call max on this list it has to return 74 similarly main function is going to return minimum value which is nothing but 3 and print see uh, here the sum function is going to add all the elements of the list and that can be printed like 134 len will give the number of elements in a list max will return the maximum valued element min will return a minimum element and sum will going to sum all the elements or items of a list and return the sum. So if I use a sum and line combinedly like this, it will going to return the average. So we'll see this on list called a new elements and later we'll continue. So here, so right now, so what is our new element? It consent one, two, it contains five elements. If I call line on this line function on new list, say there are five elements. Now. If I want to get maximum value of this, I can call max of new list. So max is 10. And if I want a min, min of this new list is 1. And if at all I want to get sum of all the elements in a list, it is 16. Because 10 plus 2, 12, plus 1, 13, plus 3, 16. And if at all I want to get the average, so this is sum divided by len of new list. Now we can see this is 16 divided by 5. So you will get say 3.2. So that's the average. So very simple. If at all we want to do the same thing using without using these functions, we should write a program for that. These functions will help a lot to work on a list. The sum function only works when the list elements are numbers. Very important. The other functions max, len, and mean these functions will work on a different integers on even strings and other types whereas some will going to work only on elements of type numbers and let us write a program to compute a sum and average of a numbers entered by a user means we will see so how these functions will help us to reduce our job if we see without using these functions let us compute the sum and average later we can use these functions and see the difference Okay, first we will uh, write the program com to compute an average without using a list. Let me use a uh, name of the file as avg.py. I want to find average is the name of the program. Say so to find sum and average. And what I do here, a very simple program I will write where I will read elements from the user and sum them later find the average. For that purpose, I am going to take a one object called total. And I'll assign it to a zero. Say so this total is going to give a, a sum of all the elements. Okay. And another one to count the number of elements. Okay. Because I should sum or total divided by say count to get the average. Okay. Let me use a say forever while loop to read say while true. So I'll ask the user to enter one number. Say input enter a number. Say once that number is entered. Uh, how to end this loop? Uh, let us consider if the programmer is going to enter done will end the loop. Because by default say input is going to return anything as a string. If INP is equal to done then we will break from this. If it is not equal to done then later we will get the value that has been entered is should be converted to float and it is there in IN. This value I will add to total. Total is now 0 total is equal to total plus value and because we have read one element I will increment the count count is equal to count plus 1 this is the loop so one more element will be read and it will be checked so whatever the value it has been entered is it equal to done if it's not equal to done obviously it's some number that will be converted to float and that value will be added to total so and every time the count will be incremented 
whenever a user wants is going to enter done and this is going to come out of while loop and here we can calculate average average is equal to total by count and we can print average print average is say comma average this is another way of printing and uh, let me save this and to execute this program we will call python 3 interpreter 53789 i have entered five elements and now i'll enter done now average of these five elements is 6.4 this is how we have say written a program without using a list we have written this program simple program taken two objects one is total and another one is count total is to find the sum of all the elements that will be entered from the, by the user and count is going to keep track of a number of elements the user is going to enter whenever a user is going to enter a done it is going to come out of this loop and do the calculation of uh, average okay very simple we will write the same program using list now i will call the name of the program as average underscore list finding average of numbers just i'll write in short using list initially uh, to create a new list there's function called list i'll use that function so like num list is a object and list is going to create a new list a empty list will be created and now i use a forever while loop and as usual here i'll ask the user to enter a number once the user will enter that number inp is equal to done then as usual what we need to do is we need to break otherwise convert that value value is equal to float inp so for whatever we have done it is similar to the previous but there we had used uh, uh, two objects one uh, total and another was count here so instead of that we have created a list called a num list say so which is uh, empty now and i use append method to append the element that has been read the append method should be called an object here in num list dot append that value will be appended to this and this particular loop continue till the user is going to enter done once the user is going to enter done we can find the average average is equal to it's very simple here sum of num list divided by len of num list and we can print average we have not used colon there here it should be dot operator this should be num list okay remember sum is a function because of that never use a variable name as a sum never use a variable name as a max or min because those are all the functions in python python 3 initially 3 later 1 and later 4 and now done let us see average is 2.66 now see we have seen finding average first time without using a list whereas second time using a list using a list we wrote so where we created a empty list and later after getting the value we appended that value to the list and used a function sum and len to find the average okay so we make an empty list before a loop starts and then each time we have a number we have appended that list at the end of the program we simply compute the sum of the numbers in the list and divide it by the count of the numbers in the list okay to come up with the average but remember if we have a say list of values or numbers directly we can use a sum and a len to find the average whereas uh, if uh, the list is not there obviously we should use uh, a loop to calculate total uh, means the sum of all the elements and later we should divide so using list we have an advantage directly to get the sum and number of elements okay hope this is clear to you dear students thank you thank you for watching